Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Pan African's Masterstroke Gold Operation gets going under budget and ahead of schedule. South Africa needs to transition to renewable energy, ESCOM Chair tells Joba Gendawa. And Battery Manganese Project begins in Mpumalanga, all is placed for long lead items. The biggest takeaway from the hugely profitable Mokale Tailings Retreatment Operation, which was commissioned west of Johannesburg by Pan African Resources, is the one that can make a huge success and look forward to very rapid payback by investing in South Africa. Um, we've built a 2.5 billion rand operation in 14 months. I think that's exceptional and it's exciting, yes. I mean, we'll be doing 50 to 60,000 ounces a year of gold out of uh, MTR for 20 years or more with uh, Soweto. And very importantly, also in terms of cost, we estimate it will be below $1,000 an ounce all in sustaining, which is exceptional and is world class. Fantastic. And how many people are you going to employ here? And what are they going to do? Martin, we have uh, currently uh, 1,600 people on site. Uh, including the construction contractors. Ultimately, we'll have about 500 permanent staff at the operation and with remining. So it's great in terms of economic opportunity and employment in this area. South Africa needs to transition into renewable energy in a way that continues to protect the country's energy availability. The challenge that we're facing, uh, certainly within the energy space, is the transition. The transition from where we are, largely, for example, in ESCOM, almost 80% of our energy coming from coal, and, and that we need to make that transition into renewables. And we need to make it in a way that continues to protect uh, the energy availability for this country. So our big focus has been to focus on making sure that we have a product to sell and product to offer South Africa, and that is energy security. Manganese Metal Company of Mumbela is on its way to becoming a Western world beta in the supply of high purity manganese sulfate monohydrate for battery electric vehicles. If you can recall, in May this year, you were chatting to Bernard Swanepoel and Louis Nell and um, other members of the MMC team. And then they explained to you that in order to progress faster, we will first do a project of metal to sulfate conversion because we are an existing manganese metal producer for 50 years already. And we have access to high purity manganese units that we will be converting that into manganese sulfate for the, the batteries for the EV industry. So the current status is our project is fully funded. We have last month placed orders with the longest lead time equipment vendors and we have appointed the project management team. And they've been on site already. We've already have weekly site meetings with the PM and the equipment vendor. Of course, they are entering into detailed engineering design now to be ordered to spec exactly what the tanks and the equipments uh, should look like. The long lead items, of course, being the crystallization unit. And then what we also need to add to that would be metal dissolution equipment to create the pure feed solution that will feed the crystallizer. And then behind the crystallizer, we need um, drying and packing. So this project, it's, it's much smaller than our longer term plan for all based processing. And that's why it will make it possible for us to supply the market earlier. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.